Hi, this is uh, Pico CTF 2018 and I believe this is problem number 23 recovering from the snap for 150 points it's in the forensics category and I believe this is the fifth forensics problem that we are solving and the problem itself is there used to be a bunch of animals here. What did Dr. Cernan do with them? And uh, let's take a look at the hints. Some files have been deleted from the disk image, but are they really gone? And uh, that's interesting because uh, this is actually the first kind of like real forensics problem that, uh, that we have. And uh, let's uh, just uh, click on animals here and save the file to our downloads folder. We are in our uh, downloads folder. We take a uh, ls here and we see that we have the animals uh, .dd image here. I have downloaded a program from uh, the internet called test disk. Uh, when you untar it, you get this uh, folder or the the program itself. Uh, you could use the sleuth kit and also a program called scalpel. I think actually scalpel now is a part of the, the sleuth kit and you could also use test disk. So these are three programs that are uh, quite often used. But uh, just so you know, if this was real forensics or, or maybe even a more complicated problem, right? Uh, we would take hashes of the image to see that we didn't corrupt anything. Uh, read in the right uh, if it's FAT16 or NTFS, uh, does it have a partition table, etc. But this is a CTF, capture the flag competitions, uh, they have a certain time period. So we are going to do things a little bit uh, different than that. We are going to mount uh, this image uh, so we can see what's inside it. Uh, we don't really have to do that, uh, but uh, we're going to do it anyway. It's something that you actually should know how to do. But before we get that far, we need a place to mount it. So we are going to make uh, a new directory here, here called Forensics. And we know we have a file which is hidden, right? And that's probably the flag file. So we're going to make one more uh, directory here and we're just going to call it output like that. And uh, now we can uh, mount the animals.dd to the forensics directory. I'm not going to explain too much on this part, but you might need to use uh, sudo and mount tag o loop and then our uh, animals.dd and where we want it. So we have our home directory and you know, your username. And we have the downloads and we have forensics. Enter. Okay, I'm going to just take a clear here before we go uh, further. And now if we go in to the forensics and take uh, uh, ls, we see that we have four files, right? We have uh, a dog here, a frog, music, and a rabbit, and a ls. Tac LA shows uh, files uh, which are normally not shown. Uh, right now we just have the, our own directory and the parent directory here and nothing else is uh, actually showing. So that's actually what we can see on the image after we mount it. But now we have to work on it to actually find the hidden files here. One thing that actually might be interesting to know something about here is that if I did a ls tag la now, 
you see the forensics here right so after we mounted that forensics that belongs to root and not you so if you ever get stuck on one of these missions uh, one thing you have to think about is that you might actually have to change the ownership of uh, the directory that you're actually working in just so you know even though we are going to use uh, test disk once in a while a combination of programs is not such a bad thing uh, you have a command called fls in uh, in the sleuth kit uh, which uh, lists files and with uh, an enter here you could actually already see that uh, our animals uh, .dd contains a file called the flag. Uh, so, uh, but we're not going to extract it uh, using the sleuth kit. But you can see different things from different programs. All right, so let's finally get to use uh, test disk here sudo test disk animals.dd right that's what we want and this is how test disk looks and right now you see we already have uh, the disk animals.dd here right in front of us at uh, this stage uh, you can either proceed or quit so uh, we have to press enter here and we want none non partitioned media because that's what it has uh, detected here so enter again and we want the advanced file system utilities here and that's also an enter and this is what it's found now, right? Uh, FAT16. And we can undelete or image creation here. What we want is uh, undelete. And uh, enter again. And now we see the same files as we saw uh, on the sleuth kit here. So the red files here are the files that are hidden or missing. And we could extract all of them, but uh, we really want just uh, the flag file here. I moved the screen down a little bit here so you can actually see the bottom line here. But to begin with, uh, you can use the arrow keys to uh, go down towards uh, the flag file, the one we want. And then it says here, right, a column to select the current file right so we're gonna do that and it turns green and uh, capital C to copy the selected files but a small C to copy the current file so we're gonna do that and then it asks us where we want it and this is where our output file comes into the picture right so we're gonna move down with the arrow keys here to output and then the right arrow key and you're in that directory and it says here a capital C when the destination is correct so we're going to do that copy done one okay zero failed that does not mean that that anything went wrong right everything went fine now uh, Q to quit right so Q you quit out of every single thing you've actually been in already so we're gonna do that Q Q Q Q and we're out of it right and if we now take an LS here and we go into the output we now have uh, the flag as a file here, right? And we're going to look at that through um, another part of Linux. I mean, we might as well look at that through the GUI here, the graphical user interface. 
we have our output directory we click on it and we have the flag file we click on that and here we have our flag that we need to copy now we didn't need to mount but uh, just call it good practice and uh, now you know how to do it but we are going to uh, paste in the flag here and submit it and see what happens and that's correct so we solved one more problem here and this was actually a fun one all right until next time